Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are in the pool. It's underwater Wednesday and we are going to be trying. This is a viewer request. We were told last week about this bait, uh, suggested that we get it in the pool and check it out. And we ordered the baits from Tackle Warehouse, got them in, put them in the pool. And I'm telling you what, I am excited to be throwing these baits in the lake and see how they work. Cause based on what I saw in the pool, they're pretty cool. And we've got a lot of different techniques. What we're talking about here today, guys, is the bellows gill. This is the big brother of the bellows shed. And these baits really have a lot of positive attributes to them. We'll talk all about it when we come back right after this. Welcome back to Mark Fisher Outdoors, everybody, and Underwater Wednesday. I'm Mark Fisher. Thanks for tuning in today. Another episode in the pool, and we've got them here. We've got the Bellows Gill. This is the 3.8 size. This is the big size. And then this one here is the 2.8 Bellows Gill. And I really like this deal. Not that I don't think that other one will have a place, but... I don't know where to start. There's just a lot of positives. Uh, and let's start with the the minute you open the package, you <laughs> this is scented, boy. It's got a scent. And I've been trying to figure it out all day in terms of what that scent is. I can't really place it, but boy, it gets on your hands. You can smell it throughout the house. This is a bait, as you can see, that is all just ribbed here all along that okay and i tell you what so this stuff really just moves the water as it's as it's going through the water but this little tail here look at that just just putting it on my finger and seeing how it fly, and it does that in the pool and you're going to see that in the pool when that when that works so Guys, the first thing I saw that when I saw this is, so how am I going to rig this? I mean, I'm thinking, I've got lots of thoughts here. I'm thinking, you know, do you Texas rig this? Do you put it on a shaky head? Well, the viewer who told us about this bait said, Mark, you got to try this on a drop shot. So that was the first thing that I did is I put this 2.8 on a drop shot and just started throwing it around the pool. And take a look at this thing in the pool on a drop shot. Look at the tail action on that. And I really like, I mean, it just looks like a tiny little bluegill slowly going through the water. You can make it, you can make it basically just rest. You can move it up and down. You can slowly move it forward. And it, it really, really looks good in the water on that drop shot. And to be honest, guys, out of the things that I've done, I'm thinking that that's the place that I'm going to use it first and that I'm going to think is my primary use for this bait. However, as you're going to see a little bit later on, we threw it on a Ned rig. And that really looked good. I think a shaky head would work just as well. I really, really like this bait. The water displacement that those fins give off, the scent, this, the, what I've heard about this bait is that when a fish bites it, they hold on. They swim around with this bait. It, that scent and that, that, attractant that's all over this bait just makes that fish hang on to it. Now there's a lot of bulk to this bait. So one of the biggest concerns that I have right now is being able to get good clean hook sets. But I do think that when it comes to this bait 
and drop shotting it, nose hooking that bait right there, there was no problem. And I feel like we're not gonna have a problem with hook sets on the drop shot application. So that part I'm feeling pretty comfortable with. Guys, we're gonna take a look at some more video here in the pool while we're doing that. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to Mark Fisher Outdoors. Do the notification so that you know every day when we put our videos out. And also please feel free to comment on your ideas for upcoming videos, whether it's an Underwater Wednesday episode with a certain bait that you wanna see underwater, or just any topic that you'd like to see us cover on Mark Fisher Outdoors. Now the next area that I wanna show you is when we went to start throwing the bigger 3.8 bellows gill. I threw this weightless on a four-aught EWG hook. So I wasn't very impressed with this just fluttering. When it came, as it came down without any weight to move the nose, it didn't give that counteraction to get the tail going. So it was very still in the water. It was just like a dead piece of plastic in the water. When you twitch it, then it gave that tail motion. But I'm, I'm thinking, especially with this bigger bait, that having weight in the nose is what gives the tail the ability to move. So I didn't have this, I, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more experimentation with the bigger one, but I can also see how this bait could be a real player around bluegill beds in the post spawn. I know we talked about that earlier in the week. I also think that there's there's a lot of time, a lot of situations where that would be a a real fish catcher. But I do need to kind of do a little bit more work to kind of see what's going to make that bait be come alive underwater. Guys, I'm. I'm a fan of what I see so far, and I absolutely am going to be trying these. And quite honestly, I think I'm going to be bringing them to Lake Champlain and seeing if they work a little bit on that drop shot as well, the small little 2.8. So, guys, send us your comments. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know if you've used these things. Uh, we appreciate the fact that one of our viewers, uh, Derek, we appreciate the fact that you let us know about these and... Uh, and I, I'm really impressed. So stick around tomorrow for another episode of Mark Fisher Outdoors. Take care, everybody.